Hello everyone and welcome back to Tashkin House. Before we get started in today's video, I want to introduce you guys to our new family member, which is Apollonia. We call her Apple for short. Um, and if you are following me on Instagram, you know that I foster dogs. And so when she came in, we had to make it official and adopt her into our new home. In today's video, we are going to dive into a DIY project, creating a blanket ladder. Let's hop in today's video. Right, Apple? Right? To start this project, I would need to gather all the materials. I am using one inch by eight foot poplar poles. Make sure you do the wink test with all your wood to make sure you grab the straightest wood from the rack. Determine how wide you prefer your rungs to be. For my blanket ladder, I measured five inches from the top, then 13 and a half inches of every spacing. Here I am labeling T for top and B for bottom when it's time to connect the rungs. Here is a close up on my marks. Make sure your markings line up evenly on both sides of the ladder before drilling your holes. This is very important when it is time to connect the rungs. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with a half inch paddle bit. Part of the reason for this is makes it a little bit easier than starting with a regular old half inch bit. You'll notice the tips on them that may wander on a rounded surface, whereas your pedal bit is designed to bite into that. Let's go. So when you switch over to your regular bit, one thing you need to take into consideration is how deep you're gonna drill into that material. So in this particular instance, we've got about a one inch dowel. So we're gonna go halfway in or half an inch. You can take some painter's tape and uh, just mark up half an inch. If you have been following me for a while, you know that my amazing husband loved to build furniture on his downtime and wanted to work with his wife, which I absolutely love. Next, it's time to cut the length of our rungs. This will determine how wide you want your ladder to be. For my ladder, I cut them down 18 inches. We were going to try one method to trim down the wood, but my husband wanted to do it right the first time. So he went out to purchase a belt sander to make this process easy.
Once he was happy with the carvings, I went over it with a 80 grit sandpaper to make it a little bit more smooth. Now it's time to put this ladder together. We started out using wood glue and a mallet, but my husband went Hercules and cracked the side rail. The next day off camera, we bought another poplar dowel. This time around, we decided to use Loctite Power Grab to assemble. With this product, you only have 15 minutes to maneuver before it sets. We attached it off camera to make sure all the rungs were placed properly before the product set. Once the rungs were placed, we used wood clamps and ratchet straps to tighten everything together and let it set overnight. Now it's time to seal. I am using Howard Feeding Wax because it gives a nice natural looking finish while protecting the wood. I love using this product. Here is how the blanket ladder turned out. I love building this simple project and it was so much fun to work beside my main heartbeat. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so glad that you stopped by. And if you are loving my content, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. I would like to take the time out to say happy Father's Day to all the wonderful fathers on earth and in heaven. I thank you all for tuning in and watching and I will see you guys next time.